Hello folks, uh, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Marcelo and for those who don't know me, I'm currently working at Bydentic and I'm also the maintainer of Starlet and Uvicor. Uh Oh, and I also help Fast API uh, for some time now. So what I'd like to bring to you is, is actually kind of answer the question, how can I help an open source project like Fast API? And I'm going to give you instructions on how specifically you can help on Fast API. Uh, and maybe I can also give, like, try to create a video on how you can help on underlying uh, projects like Starlet and Unicorn, uh, and maybe uh, on Pydentic as well. But anyway, let's just start with uh, Fast API in this video. And so, as you know, uh, there are a lot of pull requests on Fast API. If we go here, let me see if I'm seeing it. Yes. Uh, let me see if I can increase the size. Maybe this is better. So you can see there are a lot of uh, pull requests here, and this is cool. Most of them are actually um, are actually uh, translations. So if I look for translations, you're gonna see that there are 278 trans uh, translation pull requests open. Uh, while if I do the minus here, which is the the uh, not length all, it will be less than half of them. Uh, so less than half of the pull requests that FastAPI has are uh, related to actually uh, code uh, pull requests. So this is nice. Uh, so this is not what I wanted to show you. Oh, actually, I can actually show you something. So sometimes uh, there is a pull request that is from a translation. So uh, what I need to do here is just to mark as all, I'll also mark Korean. I think it's Korean, yeah. And I, I will or mark as waiting review. This is some process that I do. Uh, Sebastian has created it, uh, and I have rights to add those labels. Those labels basically mean that uh, this is a pull request for translation. And if you speak Korean, you can come here, uh, and then you can review the the pull request. You can check the changes. I do not speak Korean, so I cannot help here. Uh, but you can read it and then you can, <coughs> sorry, you can approve it. Also, the pull request has two approvals. Uh, Sebastian will come here and we'll merge the pull request. Okay, so that's actually one way you can help Fast API. Another way, which is the way that I intended to show you, is going through the discussions. Let me close this other tab. And. Uh, trying to read them, actually read them, and trying to answer them. So in a way that that's just gonna be the right answer for the discussion. So what I mean for that is like, uh, so I click here, uh, this is one of the discussions that I saw uh, an hour ago or something. And so this is a simple question, I guess. How do I return an indented JSON? And the, the person, like the description here is, the question is how I indent a JSON response. The above code did not work. Uh, yes, correct, it did not work. So what the user wants, what the developer wants, is to actually create a custom response class. So I've just replied with this, and I've marked myself as, a, as, a, as the right answer, okay? So I do have rights to mark as an answer. And if you come to the, to the, to Fast API and answer and check the, the discussion and give a right answer, I can come check your comment and mark as the right answer. And you'll be helping the project a lot because uh, our goal is to get all of the discussion solved. And, and by solved, I mean either find the right answer or mark them as closed. So if I check closed here, I'm gonna find some closed discussions. So closed, 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 okay. Uh, so a filter that I recommend is for you to check all the open and that are unanswered. And you also check that the label does not have, so this minus here is does not have this label, which would be investigate, okay? Because the investigate label is actually uh, a discussion that I've been already and I've marked, or, or Sebastian have been already, and mark that as, as solved, uh, because that is for us to check later and investigate if that's really an issue. So you come here, you mark, you, you get this, uh, those filters, then you're gonna see a lot of discussions. Wait, only three? Hold on, what's wrong with this? Uh, sorry, not closed, <laughs> open. 
Oh, yeah, this is much better. <laughs> so we have a lot of uh, discussions. So you can go through each one or the ones that you find more, uh, like that is your mm, field of knowledge. So for example, if I put here uh, authentication, I'm gonna find a lot of issues, with a lot of discussions, so six pages, and you can try to see if you can help uh, on answering them. Uh, so if you look also by Identic, you're gonna find a lot of a lot of things that you can help. So 40 pages. You can also look for I don't know uh, base settings. Uh, you can also find a lot of stuff. Oh, not that many. Maybe I can answer those. <laughs> so anyway, that is this is a way that you can really help the project, uh, and it's much appreciated. Um, yeah, I guess this is what I, I want to talk to you in this video. It's really a short video. Uh, it's just to get back to the video thing. I'm gonna also release some videos about Pedentic and what's gonna happen on V2, uh, like the new features that are coming. Uh, to kind of try to separate by blocks. So this feature does this, this is why we, we did this way uh, and things like that. Uh, I'm also going to have a video explaining how YouthCorn works internally because I really want people to contribute more to it. And yeah, that's pretty much. So thank you for watching and uh, please give me your feedback, like, subscribe, uh, those, those, those stuff that YouTubers say. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh.